In this video we will work on the edit and delete state functionality of our all posts component. So far our application gets the values from the input field and unshifts it to the beginning of the array, which is logged to the console and output in the all posts component. We will comment out the ngif with the string interpolation for now. When we enter all form fields correctly we get a card body with the quote and author below, in the all posts component. We will start creating two buttons so that each post can be edited or deleted. We create the button with class btn and btn dark and nest the font awesome icon faf or d pencil for the edit state. We also create a second button with the btn danger class and a font awesome icon with the class faf or dash times for the delete button. We make each post more appealing by changing the format of the post to include a bolded quote, italicized first name and last name that is inside of a small tag. We create a container diff and a row and put the post inside of a column D10 division. We place the two buttons we created in a column D2 diff, which makes the post more appealing. We add a click event to the edit button which we set equal to edit interpretation which takes in all the fields we define earlier as interpretation. Inside of the TypeScript file we create the method edit interpretation, which has the parameter type of the interpretation interface we created. We need to be able to access the selected post, so we set this selected interpretation equal to interpretation. We create the property selected interpretation with the interpretation type and we initially set first name, last name, quote, and interpretation to blank strings. In the all posts template we bind the selected interpretation to the app discussion component and set it equal to the selected interpretation. The goal is that the selected interpretation input fields will be output into the form depending on which post is clicked. We need to import input from Angular course since we need to access the input. Inside of the class, we use the input decorator and call it selected input with the interpretation type. Inside of our discussion component HTML file we update the two-way ng model binding value to be set equal to selected interpretation dot first name. This step is repeated for last name, quote, and interpretation. Now when we click the edit button we can access the input from the selected post and it will display in the discussion form, which gets updated in real time. When we click discuss again it will update but will also create a new post which we will fix shortly. First, we want to work on the edit state of the component. Inside the all posts file we create an edit state property and set it to false. The goal is to change the text and color of the discuss button if we are editing a post. Inside of the edit interpretation function we set this dot edit state equal to true. Inside of the all posts HTML file, in the app discussion directive we use property binding to set edit state equal to the boolean edit state. We go back to the discussion component and we need to use the input decorator for the edit state, which is a boolean. We go back to the discussion components discuss button and we use an ng if not edit state, which means if edit state is false, show the button, which it is by default. We copy and paste the button and use an ng if edit state, so when we click on the edit icon in the posts component the boolean will be updated from false to true in the discussion component. 
we change the function from add quote to update quote and the bootstrap class from btn warning to btn danger, and the text from discuss to update. We go to the discussion component and create the update quote method. To test it works we can so log the message updated. We fill out the form and get the new post below. When we click update, the color of the button changes and the text also changes to update. If we update it however, we get some unwanted behavior, and we can only click the edit button once. Inside the update quote function, we need to set the edit state back to false. The edit state is originally set to false then we click the edit icon to set it to true and show the new state and then when we click update we set it back to false. However, this can only be done once at this stage. In the discussion component we use the output decorator and set edit interpretation quote to an event emitter the type interpretation which is set to a new instance of event emitter. We go back to the all posts component and add the edit interpretation quote output to the app discussion directive. We set it equal to a function on edited quote that takes in an event parameter. We go to the TypeScript file and create the on edited quote method. We will return to the edit quote method, but we comment it out for now as we need to finish the update quote method. Inside the update quote method, we need set this edit quote interpretation and emit the post. The update quote function takes in the parameters first name, last name, quote, and interpretation. And we let the post equal to the blank string interface as before. We uncomment the edit quote interpretation and create the unedited quote method, which takes in the post. When we edit the quote, we need to find which quote we are updating. All our interpretations are in the interpretations array and we want to loop through each of them to find a match. Usually you would use a unique ID to check, but since I forgot to set one, checking if the interpretation of the post is equal to the current interpretation's interpretation will suffice. If the post that we click on has the same interpretation as stored in the array, we splice out the selected post by using this dot interpretations dot splice for the current index and to remove one element from the array. We want the updated interpretation to go to the beginning of the array, so we use this dot interpretations dot unshift and enter the post. We change the edit state back to false. Finally, we change the selected interpretation to blank strings. When we click on the edit button the text is put into the form fields, when we update it, we are deleting the previous form fields from the array and creating a new one that is put to the beginning of the array. This makes it, so the edited array will be on top of the list. We can also click the edit button as many times as we like. We need to fix the bootstrap validation which we can fix by simply adding this dot form dot reset at the end of the edit function. We clean up our code by deleting the comments we don't need. We use an ng if on the card diff to check that the interpretations array has a length greater than zero. We also put a h2 which reads quotes discussion. We now have a functioning edit state.
The next thing we want to work on is the delete button. We start by adding a click event delete interpretation on the delete button which takes in the interpretation. We create the delete interpretation method inside of the TypeScript file. We copy and paste the unedited quote method as it will be quite similar. We rename it to delete interpretation which takes in the post. We check the array for when it is equal to the interpretation and we simply splice it out from the array. Now when we press the delete button the interpretation is removed from the array and as a result it is removed from the browser. We now have a functioning edit state and delete button. One last thing we will do is add a confirm message to the delete button. This is achieved by wrapping the code in a if confirm with the text would you like to delete this post. Now when we click the delete button we will get the pop-up message that asks us to confirm if we really want to delete it. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.